Good evening, viewers. This is another Soccer Extra program for tonight, Thursday, 14th of February, 2013. Well, I hope you had a good week and looking forward to be part of the sporting activities happening this weekend. For the soccer followers, we have the Telecom National Soccer League in Port Mosby, Leh, and also in Kimbe. In the lineup tonight, we have the previews of last weekend's round two matches from the Telecom National Soccer League played in Port Mosby between Gigera Laitepo taking on FC Port Mosby. Then we cross over to Leh for the main game between Besta United taking on NC Civil Oro. We then move on to check out the points ladder and the draws for this weekend's matches. And finally, we wrap up the show with a report on a visit by the OFC Women's Development Manager, Nicola Domain. But for now, let's check out all the action from last weekend's round two matches played in Port Mosby. The round two match between FC Port Mosby and visiting Gigira Laitepe Morobe FC kept the supporters entertained with the well-coordinated ball work. However, the Gigira side were the surprise winners on the day, defeating FC Port Mosby by three goals to two. The first half was not an easy time for the two teams, each side making several unsuccessful attempts on goal. The game seesawed between the two teams, who were constantly swapping possession right up until halftime, where they went into the break locked at nil all. Coming back for the second 45 minutes, Gigera Laitepo had to work even harder, and the midfielders proved they were up to the task, feeding the front line plenty of balls, which eventually resulted in a double from former Besta United midfielder Emmanuel Simon. Semi Hiob extended the lead six minutes later to put his team ahead, leaving Port Mosby struggling to equalize. However, it wasn't too long before Reginald Davani slaughtered the home team's first goal as the game headed towards the full-time whistle. David Taro's penalty in the 89th minute sent the score to 3-2, but it was too little too late for Port Mosby. Gigera defended the territory hard, making use of the midfield and front line, and despite the home side continuing to apply pressure to the back line, the defense held strong to end the match on 3-2. In the double header in Leigh, Hekari earned another win with a thumping 6 0 scoreline against Well Greece Highlanders. Congratulations to Gigera Laitepo Morobe FC for the superb win. We'll check out the standing on the points ladder coming up, but before that, let's check out this main game between Besta United and NC Civil Oro FC. The lay based Besta United will have to put more of the classic ball work into action again this weekend in the round three match against West New Britain Tavur. The lay residents packed up in numbers to support their team as the young guns proved to the supporters it was worth it witnessing the game. It was a one sided affair against NC Civil War on Saturday with a 2 0 victory. The Moribian youngsters gave it the best during the first half of the main game to make the visitors run all afternoon going into the halftime break with a scoreless halftime result. In the second half, Besta realized their opponent's weaknesses as Jamal Sito netted the opener after missing out on two golden opportunities he missed. The newly formed team NC Civil Oro tried to overrun the home side's front line, but each time they tried, it was unsuccessful with Besta's midfield pushing forward and denying them any scoring opportunities. At full time, the score remained 2-0 in favor of Besta FC. Hekari United is sitting on number one spot. Let's find out where its team is sitting currently after round two and the draws for this weekend's Telecom National Soccer League competition. Women's football in the country is one of the key areas PNG Football Association is focusing on, as well as Ocean and Football Confederation. Here is a report on a visit by the OFC Women's Development Manager, Nicola Domain. PNG has witnessed the emergence of raw soccer talent from schools within NCD. 
Thanks to the Just Play program, children as young as 12 years old have benefited greatly since its inception in 2011. It was evident that the standard of football skills displayed by the children has improved since the first festival. OFC is improving our women's football with plans to implement ways so that our women could excel in the game to be competitive in the international scene. For three consecutive Pacific Games, PNG women's football team has been named the Queen of the Pacific after collecting three goals with the recent in 2011. The focus is now on our young up-and-coming women with a passion for football. The OFC Women's Development Officer, Nicola Domain, visited the country to visit facilities available and also look at ways to step in and assist our women's football improve in the country. So what we need to do now is, is look at the younger players. So we've got Just Play, we've got a good national team, we need to get that link now going between um, the Just Play girls where they go from there to get into the national team. So we're looking at establishing a pathway where they, they know where they can go to obtain football all the way up to senior football. Just Play not only runs the program as a tool to fight social issues, but seeing the need to replace our national players, they have taken another step forward to identifying potential players for the country in the near future. With assistance from the Ocean and Football Confederation and its partners coming on board, the future of our women in the world game will go a long way. Well viewers, this brings us to the end of this week's program. Do join me again at the same time next week. For more information on football activities around Papua New Guinea, log on to www.pngfootball.com.pg to find out more. On behalf of PNG Football Association, we would like to thank all our sponsors for supporting football in the country. On behalf of the media team and PNGFA, good night.